All right, I think we're good to go. Thanks to everyone for being here today. Certainly on behalf of Charlotte Motor Speedway, Activision, and NASCAR, we are glad you are here. We have some uh, pretty cool news from the folks at NASCAR and Activision. For fans and members of the video game media watching this live stream on NASCAR.com, thank you for being here. Chances are if you're watching this online, you're already a big gamer anyway. Joining us today for our special announcement, my pleasure to introduce NASCAR Vice President of Licensing and Consumer Products, Blake Davidson. Blake, good to have you here. I think you all know the driver of the number $20 General Toyota in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Joey Logano. Joey, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Activision's Senior Global Brand Manager, Mindy Grantham. And Eutechnics Executive Vice President, Ed Martin. Ed, good to have you here. And before we hear about the driver for the cover campaign, let's take a look at the premiere of the official trailer for NASCAR The Game. So let's roll that now. Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip live from Charlotte Motor Speedway. DW, I don't know if I've ever seen a race like this. This has got to be a record for lead change. Final lap, it's Tony Stewart in the lead. Johnson jumps out front. Now it's Alvarola. And it's a Patrick around the pack. It's Trevor Bain. What a move by Tony Stewart. Boyer to the point. Push around the pack. And then Castle. Kane to the Here point. comes Labonte. Logano. Ever. Logano. The line, it's going to be the closest finish ever. Mike, the fans are going nuts. Oh, wow. Pretty cool trailer there. That is for the new game that will be coming out shortly, a date to be announced later. I'm not going to give that away. A quick aside, last year, uh, myself and my co-anchor for PRN, Mark Garrow, had the privileges of being voices on the NASCAR game, and we were doing introductions. And this past week, the Pit Crew Challenge, I bumped into uh, Tom Jensen from Speed, and his young son, John, was there. And I came up and Tom introduced me to his son, and his son's eyes got really big as soon as I started talking. And he goes, you're the voice on the NASCAR game in career mode. <laughs> and then he recited like six minutes of dialogue verbatim. I mean, it was spot on perfect. It was really kind of funny, and I thought, okay, that tells me that at least one person got what we were doing, and it was a big deal. It was a real thrill for Mark and myself to be a part of uh, last year's NASCAR game, and I know this year's game is going to be equally exciting. Blake, uh, talk a little bit about the drive for the cover campaign and what this is going to mean to the fans. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, everybody, for, for being here. You know, I think when we first started down this path with, with Activision, we thought about just how involved the fans are in the sport and, and how we can integrate them more into this product. And obviously, it's, it's one of the most interactive things that, that we do. And we've had fan voting before and involved in, involved in a number of things, including yesterday when we, uh, we announced the, the NASCAR Hall of Fame class. Uh, but this was kind of different. You know, for I've been at NASCAR going on 17 years, and we've been making video games that long. And every year, we hear from the teams whether it's the drivers, the sponsors, about how do they get on the cover of the game. And then we get a lot of fan feedback on that. And so we thought coming up with a, a contest like this where we pit those drivers against each other, uh, that happens every single week on the track, do it off the track with uh, the Drive for the Cover campaign, would be a great way to involve the fans and let them determine who gets on that cover every year. And it's, it's really going to be exciting. I think it's going to create some, uh, some interesting back and forth between the drivers themselves. I think their sponsors are going to get involved, and as we kind of lay it out here as we, as we go on today, I think you'll see some really interesting twists uh, to, to what we've put together. Mindy, can you expand a little bit on how the actual voting process works in the Drive for the Cover campaign? Sure. Thanks, Doug. And thanks to the rest of the media for allowing us to speak to you today. We are so excited to launch this campaign, and we expect fans to vote frequently over the next seven weeks for their favorite driver to adorn the cover of this year's game. Here's how it works. Starting today, fans are able to go to the NASCAR The Game fa Facebook page, and they can vote for all of their favorite drivers in order to advance them to the next round. Over the seven weeks, five round tournament, they're able to vote one time per day, and at the end of it, there will be one driver that is chosen as the driver that will be on the cover of NASCAR The Game Inside Line. 
Now we have some um, game cases that we'll be distributing and that will have in there the press release, the campaign facts, all of the pertinent information that you need. So look for that at the end. All right, thanks a lot. Joey, uh, what would it mean if at the end of all of this somehow you were the face on the cover? I think it'd be pretty cool, you know, uh, as a gamer myself, obviously GameStop being one of my sponsors, uh, you know, we've, we've got my fair share of games and, and plenty of racing games that I, I love playing and, uh, you know, me and my friends, we still play NASCAR the game all the time, so uh, we have fun with that. So anytime a new game comes out, you know, as, as a driver, you're excited about it and excited to see uh, how it's going to be and how realistic it's going to be. Um, and I think they've done an amazing job last year about uh, how realistic it, it is and the looks of it and the way the cars drive, uh, how great they can do with that. So it's impressive. And then uh, obviously if you can be on the cover of it, that's I think everyone's dream. You know, as a child growing up, you want to be on the cover of a video game. That's really cool. So uh, it gives us all an opportunity to do that. and. Um, so I got to get on Twitter, I guess, and start getting everyone to vote. <laughs> awesome. Good way to do it. By the way, I know you're really good. I think after talking to Tom's son, John, though, even though he's just a youngster, might give you a hard time. I I'm ready to go. Let's <laughs> race him. All right, Let's we'll load see this if, thing up. We'll see if we can get that thing right. <laughs> All right, Ed, talk a little bit about We saw the trailer. That gives us a little hint. Are there any new features for the game this year, something that's going to be different than we've Absol seen before? Absolutely. Thanks, Doug. And thanks for not giving away the, uh, the date of uh, November 6th, right? For Tweet that later. Yeah, okay. okay. Sorry. You'd love to give away those tweets on me. Uh, yeah, the, the game, obviously, every year you go bigger, better, faster, great graphics. What, what's really interesting about what we're able to do, and it really plays into this campaign, is that the game came out last year, the original game. We've been able to get an amazing amount of fan feedback. And the developers are literally online all the time talking with everybody. Dave Thompson, the executive producer of the game, I swear he spends as much time on Twitter talking with the fans of the game as he does making the next game. It's really impressive. So the big features are really driven by the community. What we heard loud and clear, deeper career mode. Um, they want to really play from being a nobody all the way up through being a Sprint Cup champion. So we've created this really a, almost a team manager mode where you get sponsor offers on your way up. Eventually, Joey, even Home Depot will be making offers to, uh, to people in the game to, uh, to be in there. Online is huge. People really want to play the full race weekend online, so that's in there. And we've got another feature, which I'll tease a little bit. We're going to come back and, and talk about something that's really revolutionary in, uh, in, in video games. We're going to take moments from what actually happens in the races and draw people into the middle of it and let you play it out. And uh, a lot more info on that coming. But that's one of those things where we're looking for a lot of feedback from the fans. What do you want to see? So You're hop on Twitter, let us know. You're putting a jet dryer at Daytona, aren't you? <laughs> I, I cannot comment on the jet dryer. I, I don't have that licensing done yet, Blake. Can you help me out with that one, maybe? No. <laughs> All right, work on that. All right, we want to see the brackets, see what they look like. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to roll up our, our first round brackets here. And this is how the voting goes. And there's some pretty cool uh, matchups here. The Bush brothers are going to take each other on early on. Of course, uh, Juan Pablo Montoya, Marcus Ambrose, get a little international flavor going on there. Jeff Gordon taking on Daytona 500 winner. And we've got a potential matchup between Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards on there, if you can make those out. I know they kind of look small on the monitors, but some pretty good matchups early on. Great chance to vote here. Joey, you get uh, a first-round matchup against Mark Martin. How do you feel about that? Well, Mark Martin, I, I tell you, I got my work cut out right off the bat because uh, Mark's got a, a ton of fans out there. Uh, he's been doing this, you know, a lot longer than I've been alive. So, uh, <laughs> so it takes me a while to catch up to the fans there. So, uh, no, but um, I got some great fans out there too. Then, and I got, you know, my fans are definitely the, the younger demographic out there that, that uh, you know, are mainly gamers. So, um, I feel like I got a shot at that. All right, Blake, talk about the, the campaign overall. What this is going to mean for NASCAR with this. Uh, drive for the cover. Yeah, I think if people saw last week our announcement uh, with, with Twitter. Uh, we're obviously engaging more in social media and using that to, to help create more interest in the sport. I think this is the perfect campaign to do that. So you heard Joey talk about it already. You know, somebody like Mark Martin, who's got a pretty active uh, Twitter uh, fan following out there as well. So those, they're going to be able to, to get involved directly, the drivers are. So I think that's a unique uh, aspect to this sponsor element and, and how they can get involved and get behind their drivers to, to, to get them on the cover is, is certainly something that's going to be out there and pushed and, and driving people to Facebook. I think it really ties it all together. So that that interactivity again with the fans, the direct link with the fans is so important and, and really critical to making this uh, work well. And, and I know it's going to be uh, very exciting. And I know a lot, of, a lot of people have already kind of looked at the brackets and said, well, it's obvious this person's going to win or that person's going to win. We don't think so. I think it's uh, really anyone's game because 
like Joey said, if he's really active out there on Twitter with his following, if GameStop gets behind it, if Home Depot's behind it, anything can happen out there. So we're looking forward to some of those, uh, some of that drama that's going to occur. Terrific. Uh, let's open this up for questions. If you've got questions for Joey or any of our other panelists here, uh, please raise your hand, and we'll have a mic get to you really quick. Right here, Kenny Bruce. Kenny Bruce with Sporting News. I don't, I don't know if I missed this or not, but on the bracket and the, the drive for the cover, how did you determine the seedings for the different groupings? I mean, it's obviously it's popularity driven. So how did you determine this guy needs to be in this bracket, this guy needs to be in this bracket? Yeah, we, we obviously looked at the, the popularity of the, the drivers overall. We looked at uh, who's really active in the, the digital social space uh, from a following standpoint there, and we tried to factor that in as we put the brackets together. Um, we didn't you know, purposely see them, but you can kind of figure out who the, who the more popular drivers are on there. And we tried to, to make for some interesting matchups throughout the entire bracket, bracket. So if you kind of look at it and you, and you, you kind of follow it through and, and fill out your brackets and make some predictions, we wanted to have some interesting matchups down the line. So we took a lot of different things into, a, into account when we, we created those. Other questions for anybody while we've got them up here? All right. Seeing no hands, I know that we have one more little piece of business to take care of here because the folks at NASCAR and Activision and Eutechnics want to wish one Joey Logano a happy 22nd birthday. So congratulations, by the way. And to celebrate, we're going to present Joey a cake with an image taken directly from the upcoming NASCAR The Game of Joey's number 20 Home Depot car and wish him a lot of luck in the tournament. So Thank you guys. don't cut the cake yet until it. we get good pictures of it, okay? I remember... Oh, you, you take a picture. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See how social media works? It's not just but uh, I remember I was here in 08, and I was, it was Charlotte, and my birthday was, I guess it was today. And uh, <laughs> Yes, it tends but, to fall on the was, same day every year, I turning, Joey. I was turning 18, and then my big debut was a week after in Dover, and it was a huge deal, and, and this is kind of cool. You know, a few years later down the road, here we are again. So pretty cool how things change, but this is awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And what's really cool is we can all send Joey on a beer run now, so that makes it nice. All right, we want to leave the cake here and have uh, Joey. Let's make this available for some quick photos, and then Blake and Joey and the other folks will be available for some uh, quick one-on-ones after that. So let's go ahead and uh, bring the photographers up. If you want to go ahead and grab a quick picture of the cake here.